Hello everybody, welcome back to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. Buddy Blackford here and I'm going to show you how to use a couple different blurs today. Actually a few different blurs, so three different ones. I'm going to show you the uh, box blur, the surface blur, and the uh, shape blur. And those are all under the uh, filters. Or if I go to filter and then I go to blur, I can pick those different blurs. So the first one I want to start off with is the box blur. And you just apply the blur right to your layer and it's going to start uh, blurring immediately where you have the ability to change the radius of the blur and uh, that's pretty much it. So what a box blur is, is um, it pretty much takes a look or it takes a look see at the pixels and then compares it to the pixels around it and then averages these colors together to create a blur effect. So just to let you know that the box blur is not a realistic looking blur effect. Um, it's mainly used in special effects so if you're going for something that's not realistic looking then go for the box, box blur. Okay so you can adjust the radius down here um, the blur gets larger when you move the radius to the right as you can see here and it just gets totally blurred out into gray if you go all the way out um, and it gets less blurry as you move to the left so uh, that's for the box blur so remember that the box blur is non-realistic and it just averages the uh, pixels around and blurs them appropriately the next blur that we're gonna go over we're gonna go over the um, surface blur so filter blur and then let's go to surface blur which is down here at the bottom and it brings up the same thing but now we have a threshold here so the surface blur is a really good blur and it pretty much smooths pic pixels uh, that are different but it, it uh, leaves out like really drastic changes such as edges intact if you have it set up correctly so if you don't want it really really blurry and you want the edges to be uh, intact you just want to move uh, have the blur radius and threshold set down a little lower than they are right now because right now it kinda looks cartoony doesn't it alright so the surface blur is good for reducing noise it's good for um, smoothing out skin like getting rid of uh, wrinkles and uh, retouching photos a little bit so you don't want to go too crazy on your blur because it'll look weird obviously so I'm gonna show you how to use this uh, blur properly to let's uh, fix up like some of the skin and stuff like that so I'm gonna hit cancel real quick and what I'm gonna do is duplicate this layer here we go and I'm gonna apply the surface blur to the top layer filter blur surface blur okay now what I'm gonna do is adjust the radius and this decreases or increases the amount of blur applied to the image so I'm just going to decrease it just a little bit three that looks kind of good. Um, you can still see it's a little over the top, but we're gonna fix that. The threshold slider here um, de decreases or increases um, like the shift in brightness, I guess. So if I move it all the way to the left, you can see what it does. You can see how it's a little different looking. And if I move it all the way to the right, you can see how that uh, looks there. So it's kind of hard to explain. You kind of just uh, you mess with it a little bit, a little bit, to figure out where you want your blur to be. So here we, it's uh, kind of blurry on here. Um, looks like some of the skin's been blurred out, so it's like not doesn't have like any imperfections and many imperfections and stuff like that. So I'm gonna hit OK. Now this doesn't look real so what we're gonna do is just lower the opacity of this layer so it so this uh, layer below that hasn't been affected shows through so let's go click on our top layer lower the opacity down 
to something like this. And if I look in between these, you can see that the skin blurs a little bit. Now this isn't, you're not going to use this as the only way to smooth people's skin out and everything like that. This is a supporting uh, way to use uh, to smooth the skin and just one way that you can use surface blur on images. So let's move on to the next blur which is the shape blur. So I'm gonna delete this layer copy off and now we're just stuck we're left with our original image that has nothing done to it. Let's go filter, blur, and shape blur. And the shape blur is based on the shapes that you already have in Photoshop. So it could be uh, based on this heart. Let me bring this down a little bit. Well, the lowest I can do that is five and, yep, between five and 1,000. I don't know why they don't just don't go down to like one or something like that, but that's, Photoshop probably has a good idea. They made the program, I didn't. So if you wanna add more types of uh, images, that you can blur off of just click on this over here and then you can um, replace your shapes here by adding in new ones you can add in different uh, types of shapes that you have already in Photoshop like let me bring in like nature or something like that and if I click OK it's going to replace all of them if I hit append it's going to add them to the end so I'm just gonna hit append and now I've got the different shapes here like this one might be cool well, well, uh, they just give the uh, like different blur effects. So you go through and pick which ones you kind of like. And obviously, when you're doing this, you can't really see the actual shape within the blur, which is probably a good thing because who really wants to see that, honestly? But the way that the image is affects the blur. So we got this lightning shape here. Let me click on that. You can see our blur is a little more drastic, and um, if you compared like the blur to the lightning shape, it's like jaggedy. Now, if I go to something smooth like this teardrop, the blur is a little more smoothed out. So that's what this uh, shape blur is good for doing. So I'm just, I'll just hit OK, and then we, we've got our blur on here. And remember that you can duplicate the layer and lower the opacity if you would, if you would like to um, add the blur in in a lesser amount. Now, honestly, I don't really use the shape blur a lot, but I'm sure it has um, some good uses. Like when I was showing you, if you want a, a really intense blur, like use that like lightning bolt one, or if you want a smoother blur, use the uh, teardrop like I was showing you but I kind of feel that there's other ways to get better blurs, which I'll end up showing you in another tutorial that'll be coming up soon. So just keep in mind those different types of blurs, box blur, surface blur, and shape blur that we went over, and uh, use them uh, to your advantage when you need to. So now that you know about them, you can use them and implement them into your document. So thank you for watching this, guys, and I truly uh, I'm thankful that you guys are watching the videos and giving me feedback and stuff like that on them. So I'll see you guys later in the next tutorial. It's going to be awesome, and I look forward to seeing you guys at it.